Good evening. This is CTV News for Friday, May 24th, the start of your official Memorial Day weekend. I'm Melissa Wright. Thanks for joining us. The big story tonight is the big getaway out of town. As we've been telling you all week, hundreds of thousands of people across our region are traveling for the Memorial Day weekend. Many of you will be hitting the roads. Others will travel by rail and some will fly the coop by air. And that takes us to Byron Scott at Reagan National Airport and these tips from TSA. And this is a big weekend for travelers, many people traveling by car, and many folks are traveling out by way of airlines. We're here at Reagan National Airport at the Air Canada counter right there. There's folks ready to head out of town. But this is also a good time to talk about the tips for going out of town, what to expect when you get to the airport here. And this is TSA's uh, spokesperson, Lisa Farbstein. Thank you for joining us this morning, this good, afternoon. Good to be here. Talk about what people can expect when they get here. When people get to the airport, what they're going to see are lots of people trying to hustle through to go on their vacations. It's going to be a record-breaking summer. Last summer we broke records, uh, we set records, and we expect this summer to be even busier. We expect to screen more than 10 million passengers nationwide this summer than we did last summer. So what, what's behind the uptick in more passengers? Why is that? So it's a good economy, and so we're seeing more people who are going on vacation. We're seeing some good prices on flights and airlines are offering even more flights to more destinations. Well, obviously people want to expedite their time at the airport. Uh, how about some do's and don'ts by way of TSA? So we want you to be prepared when you come to the checkpoint. If you're not sure if something should go in your check bag or your carry-on bag, we have many ways you can find out. We're very active on social media. We have a very active Twitter account. It's called at AskTSA. So you can just either send us a photo of the item, should I pack this item in my carry-on bag or my check bag, or you can just ask us, should I bring my, may I bring my knitting needles on board the plane? And we'll get back to you. We're also on Facebook Messenger that way. On our website, tsa.gov, on the homepage, upper right corner, can I bring my, again, you click on there, type in the item, we'll let you know right away whether you can put that in your carry-on bag, your check bag, either or neither. And we have a free downloadable app for that called my TSA. Let's take one more look over here. You see people here lining up. Once again, this is the Air Canada uh, desk here in Terminal A here at the airport. Folks heading out of town for the busy weekend. And if we can come back here, I guess once again, the really big tip is, aside of going online is to get here early. Definitely you want to get to the airport at least two hours before your scheduled flight. That will allow you enough time to um, to check your bag, it'll allow you enough time to print out your boarding pass, get a cup of coffee, hit the restroom. You can do all that before you even get to the checkpoint. So you're going to see a line at the checkpoint too, just like you're going to see at the coffee shop. Okay, Lisa Farmstein, thank you very much. That latest here at the airport. I'm Byron Scott. Back to you. For more information, you can download the free app My TSA, all one word, My TSA. And if you're planning on heading out of town this Memorial Day weekend, listen up. Almost 2.8 million drivers in the Washington area will be on the roads this during the three day holiday. AAA says you should expect heavy traffic to your destination and on the way back home. The Auto Club also says the worst day to travel is actually on Monday. The worst day of all and the mother of all dragons, as it were, in terms of absolute gridlock will be Monday afternoon. For example, those people who are traveling 50 and 301 West coming back across the Bay Bridge starting at 4 o'clock Monday afternoon, their commute time will increase by 300%. AAA suggests that motorists pack plenty of patience during their travels. For driving tips, go to midatlantic.travela.com. Maryland State Police plan to target impaired, aggressive, and distracted drivers over the Memorial Day weekend. Starting today, troopers will be working overtime to ticket violations that often contribute to highway tragedies. Last Memorial Day weekend, thousands of uh, citations were issued, as well as DUI, criminal, and warrant arrest. This year holiday also coincides with a national click it or ticket campaign that focuses on seatbelt enforcement. Well, yesterday's storms caused plenty of damage in the area with reported power outages and downed trees. In Columbia, officials say an EF1 tornado touched down as wind speeds reached nearly 110 miles per hour. One person was injured after a tree crashed on a residence and more than 9,000 people were left in the dark. 